Good morning, everyone. Have you ever skipped a pebble across a still pond? Have you seen what happens after? As a kid, my parents always emphasized on the importance of reading. Growing up, my will for reading got replaced by my love for the television. Shows like Scooby Doo and Tom and Jerry, you name it, I was obsessed. My mother would always suggest that I trade my TV time for a book, but I always told her that I didn't have the time for it. This one day, I came back from school, and on the TV, instead of showing my favorite show, it said the words no signal. This panicked me, and I ran to my mother, only to hear her calmly say, I've disabled the cable connection, so now you can have more time to read. In the pre-streaming era, losing your television time was unheard of. It was like losing a lifeline. But this seemingly small act has impacted my life in so many massive ways. This small act, this pebble that my mother threw in my daily routine, it has set off a ripple effect that has changed how I spend my time to this day. Today, as we navigate this age of short attention spans and people having trouble going to sleep without the television being on. This simple decision has shaped my life. This is the essence of the ripple effect, a phenomenon where even the smallest of actions can lead to the largest of impacts. A kind word can brighten someone's day, a new idea can spark innovation, and a single policy can alter the course of a nation. The way we choose to live our lives and the values we embody through our daily interactions ripple across our environment, impacting all those around us. These actions, they are what contribute to the legacy of who you are and what you leave behind. But what is legacy? Legacy is the things that we stand for, that grow beyond us and impact generations after. It is the things that we value, the values that we inculcate in the people around us through action that have a life beyond ours. Today, I want to explore how your contributions, be it social, environmental, or personal, those tiny pebbles that you choose to skip across the pond of life can create ripples that impact future generations in profound and significant ways. Let's take a few examples of modern India. One of the most striking examples of the ripple effect in India was in 2016, when the government decided to demonetize 500 rupees and 1,000 no uh, rupee notes. While it initially caused massive disruption, the long-term ripples of this one act are undeniable. What demonetization did was forced to shift, compelling people across the country to rethink how they handle money. What began as a necessity during demonetization evolved into a widespread movement towards a cashless economy. Today, the ripple effects of this one policy are visible across millions of Indians. Small businesses that once relied on solely on cash now have better reach through digital platforms and they gain greater security over their cash flows. Financial inclusion has expanded empowering women in rural areas that can now open their own savings accounts and don't have to be dependent on their husband. Small-scale farmers can now receive payments directly into their bank accounts, ensuring transparency and timely transactions. India itself as a country has emerged as a leader in digital payments, with millions of transactions happening across platforms like the UPI, each of these are single ripples contributing to the larger wave of economic modernization. The shift towards digital payments didn't happen overnight. It started with countless small everyday transactions, each building on the next. The ripples that were created through demonetization are still spreading as India moves steadily towards a more connected and cashless future. Just as a ripple effect of demonetization, it has transformed the way we handle money as Indians, there's another ripple, far more profound, that has shaped our society at its very core. This is the ripple of education. And at its heart, transformation, this transformation is the story of one woman who decided to stand up against the patriarchal society that she was born into. She had the courage to face the adversity that sparked a movement that changed the lives of millions of girls. 
This is the legacy of Savitri Bhai Phule, a 19th century social reformer. She challenged these deeply entrenched societal norms by opening a school for girls out of her own house. The metamorphosis of women education in India can be traced back to that one single event. This courageous act by Savitri Bhai Phule has proven that even the smallest of actions, when rooted in conviction and executed, can lead to monumental social change. Today, more than 170 years later, the ripples set in Savitri Bhai Phule can still be seen in this very auditorium. It started a tidal wave of progress where millions of girls across India now attend school. They pursue higher education and contribute to the workforce. It was my grandmother who instilled in me this profound belief in education. She, defined, she told me that with a proper education and hard work, you can really excel in anything. What began for me as teaching the house help as a young girl has evolved into a decade-long effort, ignited my lifelong passion in teaching underprivileged kids across the world. The small act of sharing knowledge has ignited a ripple that has shaped my life and the lives of countless others that I have had the opportunity to touch. What it has shown me is that education is not just a tool, it's a catalyst for change, a force that can transform generations. The ripple effect of education, in my experience, has been one of the most potent forces that have ever impacted society. So today, I'd like to leave you with this thought. The vast ocean of change is composed of tiny such droplets, droplets that disrupt the tranquility of time. Each ripple that has been set in motion by someone that decided that they had to do something for something that was going wrong. From acts of kindness to advocacy efforts, every small contribution, every little droplet of effort adds to the current of positive transformation. Just as a drop of dye can transform translucent water, your actions, your drop in the sea can make the world more beautiful and much more powerful. People say, what a small world. I disagree. I think it's what a connected world. Everything is connected with invisible threads that we don't see but feel. And it's, the, it's these interconnected threads that have the power to amplify our actions. What we do has the power to shape the future, to shape our nation, our communities, our planet. Because someone somewhere sees us, they hear us when we speak. And while we can't control their interpretations, we do have the power to lead by example. How you decide to live your life today will always speak to someone. The deeds and ideas you embody through your actions will define who you are to the next generation. Your legacy, the things you value, and the actions you take today have the potential to take a life of its own and ripple from generation to generation. So when you think to yourself, what can I do to change this injustice that I see in the society? What do I do with this problem that I see in the world? Know that you alone see this problem, so you alone have the possibility and the impact to change. So be mindful of your actions. Be intentional in how you live every day. Be the positive force that you wish to see in the world. And the next time you hesitate to act, the next time you feel like, oh, there's nothing that I can do, always remember this. Your actions, no matter how small, have the power to create ripples that can change the world. Think about what it is that you truly value. Think about what do you stand for? What do you believe in? What do you want to see more of in the world? And then be them. Start taking actions that can ripple out into the world and become the waves of change you wish to see. Thank you.